This candle burns in memory of those we have loved and lost. Our loved ones may be gone, but they are never far from our hearts. Catering crisis? Jax knows I'm at a wedding. Why is he calling? In the calling? book of Genesis, <clears throat> and the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. You've all come here today to bear witness and bless the joining together of Carly and Jason and holy matrimony. The scriptures teach us that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift of God, a holy mystery in which two become one flesh. As Carly and Jason give themselves to each other today, let their love be an example and an inspiration to us all. Max, you okay? I was just thinking about how happy I am that I didn't marry Peter. That would have been an epic mistake. Not like Carly and Jason, though. This just feels right. You know, the union of husband and wife and heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another both in prosperity and adversity. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Carly and Jason now come to be joined. If any of you gathered today can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I keep thinking Tracy is going to barge in here and do anything, anything to keep Carly from marrying into this family again. Good. Let's proceed. Now it's your turn. I charge you both that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united lawfully in marriage, you do confess it now before God and these witnesses. <laughs> 